Okay, another update. I got the uh, pillar on. I think it looks a lot better. I uh, still have some work to do on it. And the reason why I'm giving you another frontal shot, you know, we'll go right here in the center. I was worried about the arm on the motor. Yeah, it is visible if you know where to look for it. You know, if you look right up here in this corner, and I'm looking through the viewfinder to see if it can be seen there. I know I spotted it. Yeah, you can just barely see it. You might not even be able to see it on the camera. But one of the things I was worried about was the uh, mechanism here uh, sticking past the side. And right now, it's just this little bit here is what's sticking out. And it's not anything I'm really going to worry about. Because you really don't notice it unless you're really looking for it. And I might be able to hide that anyway. But it does appear. Okay, it looks like it's working okay. Okay, my uh, the only other thing I have left really to do this tower, other than staining it, that is, is I've got some seams here. I'm going to fill in with some uh, wood putty. I got a crack down here, wood split on me a little bit. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to fill that in with putty. I got to fill my nail holes in here in putty and then the whole tower assembly here needs a good sanding then i can stain it for right now i'm going to do the putty in now and i'm going to set off the side and i'll come back out here tomorrow and give, give it a good sanding so you know that's where i'm at now on it so and i've still i've still got believe it or not i got more to add to this i ain't i'm not anywhere close to being done okay guys just wanted to give a little bit of a quickie little thing here uh i'm pretty much got the tower finished i got my putty and done on it you know so it's ready to go it's all finished i just gotta wait for it to dry so i can sand it and stuff and until it dries i can't do much more on that so i'm gonna switch over and as it is before I, here we'll show you this here now there's your wheel i got the post there I could just call it quits with that, do the sanding, do the staining, and have that be my ship's wheel. But I want a little more ornamentation on it. I did mention I was going to put some skulls and stuff on the handles and in the center and stuff. I'm going to do that, but I want a bit more. Uh, even though I've got a wider base on, on this thing, it should support it fairly well. The uh, tower here is all anchored down really good I've got to use some strapping to attach the uh, cap to this and then I put some blocks in down here and anchored it down at the bottom as well it's got the L bolts you know it, it's it, it's pretty steady I don't think I'll ever have a problem with it blowing over but what I want to do to add a little bit more realism to it I'm going to add some ship's railing coming off of here and going out about three feet now, I might cock them at an angle. I might run them straight out. I don't know. But I want to make this look like it's part of a ship's wheel, uh, uh, part of the uh, railing and everything. So that's my next project I'm getting to work on. But, unfortunately, before I can do that, and this is kind of a shout out to SK, a joking comment for you, bro. Uh, he did a vlog oh, a week, two weeks ago. And he was talking about how messy his shop was and that he needed to spend time cleaning it. And he panned his camera around. That shop looked neat as heck myself. You know, that's what I thought. I thought it looked neat. You know, it was clean. But he was saying how messy it was. Bro, I'm going to give you a quick glimpse there. Because my next step before I can go any further is I got to get my shop cleaned up. <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to have problems finding things and I'm tripping over stuff. You know, if you look at down there underneath the table, there's a tarp. There's a ton of uh, wood scraps and stuff down that need to be picked up. You know, my tables <laughs> got stuff on them. Those over there aren't all that bad, really, but they're getting there. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning here because I have a mess I need to pick up. You know, to me, your shop SK looked fairly neat and clean when you showed it. 
you know, this, what I just showed, is what I consider to be a mess. <laughs> so, like I said, it's kind of a joking shout-out to you, bro. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything. But, uh, anyway, that's my next chore. I'm going to take the uh, ship's wheel off and set it off to the side and set the tower off to the side and let it dry. I'm going to get the shop cleaned up. And then we're going to start bringing in the supplies to do the uh, hand railing or the uh, ship's rail. So... Next uh, update should be getting started on that ship's rigs. Okay, shop's cleaned up. <laughs> Somewhat. It's cleaner than it was, and this place is never totally clean. I've always got junk laying around. Uh, I got a helper here watching me, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, sassy. Are you going to say hello? No? Okay. Uh, pillar, I've got set off to the side. I took the wheel off so it was out of the way. And I gotta wait for gotta wait for all the uh, putty and stuff to dry on. I can give it a sanding by another hour or so and I can be able to do that. And what I'm getting ready to start on now is the ship's railing. I got the mule post which will be down here on the end. I got my pickets and the boards that will pickets will attach to and I picked up some railing. Uh, this is a, a redwood rail kit. Uh, they're six foot long you get all your pieces and stuff you know if we're doing railing or whatever I'm actually going to lop this in half and I'm going to do two three foot sections so uh, my next project is to get this all put together so and that's probably going to take a while I'm okay my pretty wife just informed me it was dinner time so I'm going to call it quits for today out here I think uh, I did get all the pieces cut for the railing and I'm just in the process of laying out the banisters for the uh, first one. Uh, I'll probably have, be working on this most of the day tomorrow. I don't have any errands or anything so uh, should have them assembled tomorrow hopefully. So Good day all. Welcome to build day four and as you can tell <laughs> I've been at it for a while. Uh, I got the pillar stained and it's in the process of drying and I've gotten all the pickets that cut to length the exact size I wanted and they have been sanded now my next chore is I've got to start assembling the railing I'm getting ready to start doing that now so that's my next step hey guys uh, I'm in the process of assembling the rails I've got one done I wanted to show you what the one rail looks like there and it's, let's see let me camera zoom down yeah, okay you now that's pretty much what the rails look like will look like when they're finished with this section of it i still have the uh mule post to put on i still need to attach them to the uh tower now like i said i've gotten one done i wanted to show you the different pieces to it though i got my balusters here which have all been cut to length they've been sanded and then what i do is I've got the uh, rail that they attached to marked out with a four inch space between the balusters and then down here on this section I pre-drill a hole and then sink a screw in to hold the balusters in place and I do it on both strips up there okay and then once that unit is assembled I come back through again and I pre-drill holes into that rail going through the other side and then sink screws in to hold the uh, caps into place. Naturally you won't be able to see the tops, the bottoms, I don't know if I'm going to end up uh, puttying them or just leaving them. I might just leave them. I don't think anyone's really going to notice it from a distance anyway. So, But anyway, that's the assembly process on the rails. Now I'm going to get this other panel uh, assembled and stuff and then I'll do a clip on how I'm mounting them the mule posts down there and to the tower you know that's that that will probably be the next section i show so hey guys uh <laughs> railings are assembled all the way that's what we ended up coming up with there give you a little bit better look at the mule post and what have you now my next job with these are to get them mounted to the tower and stained that's going to be my next project uh, I'm working on now, the next piece of the puzzle, if you'd like to call it that. 
So I'll give you another segment showing you what it looks like after they've been mounted and stained. Hey guys, back again for another little segment. If you take a look around, other than it being a mess in here, you'll notice one thing's missing. The ship's wheel. It ran off on me. <laughs> Actually, I got to putting the railing on it and found my table wasn't long enough or wide enough. So I ended up having to move it outside. And this is the semi-finished product, at least finished for this stage with the railing on it. I just got it all stained and it needs to dry overnight. I'll probably let it dry for a couple of days before I go on the next part. You will notice there's no wheel. And you ain't going to see the wheel on it until it's all the way done. No seeing the whole project prior ahead. So uh, you're going to have to wait for that. But uh, my next stage on this is I'm going to take some black paint and rub the whole thing down with black paint in order to uh, age it a little bit. And then uh, in the last vlog I did, I showed you guys all the skulls I was making downstairs. Some of those are going to be going on this as ornaments. So I'm going to need to, I need to, uh, probably going to take me about a week because they're still sitting downstairs. They're done drying. I just haven't cleaned them up or painted them or anything like that. So I'm probably going to take about a week to do that, get those cleaned up and stuff. And then I'll get those mounted. So uh, probably the next segment you'll see is either what this looks like after I've aged it or you'll see the final product once I get all the uh, skulls and stuff on. I haven't decided on that yet, but that's it for this segment. It's been a couple of days since I've filmed any footage on the ship's wheel. Uh, let's see, I, yeah, it's been a couple of days. Anyway, uh, I'm getting to the point now where I am ready to do some aging on it. I've got it, you know, all torn apart into its four pieces. Tower's still sitting out outside. Now what I'm going to do to age this a bit is I'm going to use two different colors. Uh, other than the uh, tan that's already on this golden pecan. I'm going to use a tree frog green and then some black. And what I'm basically going to do is just take some of the tree frog green and I'm going to brush it on and then take a rag and wipe it off. And it'll act more, more as a stain. And I'm going to coat the majority of it. Uh, I don't want an even coat. I want it to look kind of splotchy. And then after it's dried all the way, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do the same thing with the black. And then th that will be the end of the aging. And I'm hoping it's going to give it that kind of like a grungy, dirty look like, you know, like just come up out of the sea. You know, like it was a sunk ship that someone brought up. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. I don't know if I'm going to achieve it, but I'm going to give it a try. And I figured, you know, if you had splotches of the real tan wood, you know, showing, some splotches of the green showing, you know, and everything kind of dulled down with some black, you know, it might work out okay. I don't know. We're going to give it a try. Okay, guys, I uh, got the green paint on. And the green I use is called Tree Frog Green. And as you can see, it's kind of a yellowish green. Now, uh... Basically, all I'm doing is I'm just painting the green on and then taking some Scott towel and wiping it right off. And as a result, it's drying real quick. In fact, those there, it's been about an hour since I started. Those are completely dry. This piece here, which I just finished, is almost dry out already, too. We got a nice day here, 72 today. So, uh,. I think I was going to give it an hour or two and let it set up a little bit longer, you know, and dry more and work on some skulls. But, well, since I've got the table all set up, I think I'm going to pull the black out and I'm going to start getting the black on it. So that's going to be my next step. I'll give you another segment after I get the black done so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, guys, uh, got the aging done on the uh, ship's wheel, so I'll go ahead and show you what I got. If you notice, it's a lot darker and a little bit more dingier. I did so there was a little streak. I didn't really worry about goof-ups on it all that much. I figured that added to the aging of it a little bit. 
Now, the only other, other things I've got to do is a wife suggested putting a skeleton light on top of this. So I've already got an idea on how to do that. I'm probably going to do that. Uh, probably going to be one of the last things I'm going to do. The other thing I need to do for this is I got a ton of skulls here. Some of them have been cleaned. Some of them haven't. I've got to go through and get these, get, uh, figure out how many I'm going to need for this project and get them painted. And I need to try to get them painted tonight if I can so I can mount them tomorrow and get this finished up tomorrow. So that's my next job is painting those skulls. Okay, guys, here we go. Here's a final look at the ship's wheel project. Well, semi-final look. I'm going to do a nighttime look at it, too. Uh, I want to kind of go over with you uh, some of the problems I'm having with it currently and how I did things. Uh, the skulls up here right now, I, I attached them to the wheel and to the uh, railing with both hot glue and Gorilla Glue. Uh, hot glue basically to hold them into place while the Gorilla Glue is drying. <laughs> so, uh, and that seemed to work out really good. Uh, we did get a uh, lighted skull up, which is uh, working really, really good. Uh, you can't see it too well because it's broad daylight out. Now, I am running into one problem, and I think it's kind of twofold. Uh, on the mechanism back here, uh, we've got 85 degrees in the shade today here, which means it's about 90 in the sun, and right now the sun's beating down in on this, and I'm noticing the uh, motor's having trouble getting the wheel to move back and forth at an even pace. And I'm thinking the PVC pipe I have in here, I've messed, I've uh, messed around with it a little bit. And it's a thin wall PVC pipe. And the heat is softening it up. So I think that might be causing a little bit of the problem. But the main problem is the ship's wheel itself. It is so heavy with these skulls on it. You know, it has a lot of weight. And I think it just might be just on the borderline of uh, being almost too much. I think it's a combination. So uh, I might end up. What I might end up doing is taking the uh, plastic motor out of out of the uh, ship's wheel and putting in a windshield wiper motor. Uh, that that would have no problem moving this. But uh, I'm, I'm going to think on that one. I want to see how it reacts tonight once things cool down out here and stuff too, and go that way. But uh, I wanted to give you a daytime view of it. Now tonight, once it gets dark, I am going to uh, come out here and do a light check. I want to see how that lighted skull's looking and then how it looks underneath color lights as well. So I'll do a little segment on that too. But uh, the only other things I really need to do with it uh, is after the uh, skulls totally dry, probably tomorrow or maybe later in the week if I have some free time, I gotta come back through and touch them up around the edge. You know, clean them up, clean it up a little bit. You know, get some of the excess glue and stuff out and stuff. I just didn't want to mess with it now and end up knocking skulls of, skulls off. So I figured I'd let, wait for things to dry. So that's going to be that's another small project. And it's not really won't really take all that long to do.